Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. And today I've got a weights workout for weight loss. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, Killer Bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. By the way, you should definitely have your dumbbells off to the side because we're warming up first. <laughs> I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend who occasionally forgets things. Around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you guys, you know what really feels like self-love? Losing weight with the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea it could be this easy to lose weight. My friends, we eat the right number of calories, which might actually be less than you've been eating before. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in ounces of water. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We also get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every morning and not really worrying about how much in between that was actually sleep. And we exercise moderately every day with a workout exactly like this one. It might even be less than you've been working out before. And my friends, we manage our minds, which means that we find our thoughts and then we decide if they're helpful. And you know what? Today's helpful thought is one that I have been practicing myself a lot lately and I absolutely love it because it works in so many situations. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. It is this thought, I am taking care of myself. Sometimes that means that I am asking myself to do something that I don't want to do. Sometimes that means that I am asking myself to be kind to myself. Sometimes it means something as simple as drink your water, Paula. <laughs> That's actually when I use it the most. <laughs> but I am taking care of myself feels so loving to me. And how, here's how you know whether or not this is a helpful thought for you. How do you feel when you say that to yourself? Because if you feel skeptical or like, no, I'm not, like you're arguing with it in your head, that might not be a helpful thought for you. And that means that maybe you could turn it around in your mind and find something that does feel good. Because my friends, if a thought feels good, it's helpful for you. Kind of like this workout, which is mighty helpful. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We are all strength all the time, which means that we are not not going to be moving very fast, but we are going to be moving with precision, with intention. And we're going to get started with some letter X's. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells now. Watch out for your sleeping dog. <laughs> And we're going to stand up nice and straight and tall. Make sure that you have your core pulled in. That means you're pulling your belly button into your spine. You've got your tailbone tucked underneath you a little bit. We're doing letter X's, which means that we're going to make the top half of the letter X. And then we're going to make the bottom half of the letter X. Now, here's the thing. I know that you would love to just have your arms locked out, <laughs> locking your elbows with this one. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Keep your elbows a little bit soft and really think not about where your arms are going, but about how your shoulder blades are pulling together in your back. Thinking about your shoulder blades will also help you keep the work in your torso, which means you can think about having your core pulled in nice and tight. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead. Whew, coming up next, we're going to do curling high knees. Go ahead and lock those elbows right into your waist with your palms facing out. As we curl up, we're just going to bring up one high knee at a time. I'm loving that 10 seconds of rest in between, especially as we are doing, for example, a single-sided exercise like this where we're lifting one high knee at a time. Some of you, yes, I'm looking at you, <laughs> are going to be able to either finish the rep you're on or finish the one on the other side. We're thinking about having our core pulled in nice and tight. We are not trying to move fast today. I know, I know. I know because I feel it too. <laughs> Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're gonna do front raise, side raise. Go ahead and have your core pulled in nice and tight. Feet are about hip width apart. One arm is gonna be doing a front raise. The other one's gonna be doing a side raise. This is a little bit of work for your brain as well as your body. I know that you would love to move fast every single day. We all, I mean, really, our whole lives have been told cardio, cardio, cardio. And I want you to know that this kind of a workout where you're not counting steps on your watch and your heart rate's not gonna get very high, this is taking care of yourself in so many ways. I mean, really specifically here at our age, by the time we are around menopausal age, here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're gonna do 
split stance front push. It does not matter which side you split stance to. I'm gonna intentionally do my left foot first. Palms together, we're pushing forward. Which means your elbows are gonna be kind of wide out to the side as we're pushing forward and back. Really thinking about bringing this work into your chest. Your core, of course, is pulled in nice and tight. Standing in this split stance, it's a little bit of balance work. I mean, this would be hard work anyways, or at least moderately difficult work anyways. But having that split stance really adds that little extra oomph. I love to do, here we go, finish up that rep. I love to do a little bit of balance work my friends because that is the thing that we need at this age we're gonna go ahead and get into the other split stance this time we're actually gonna bend forward into it a little bit and we're gonna do flies really thinking once again about having those shoulder blades pulling together in your back squeezing 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 from the middle of your back of course your core is pulled in my friends this kind of work here in menopause my friends we are losing muscle mass and bone density all the time. I mean, at a greater rate when you are in the menopause transition, and then it continues on after you are all the way through menopause. Whew. Okay, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing side kick press ups, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to start with our weights right here on our shoulders. As we kick out to the side on one side, we're going to press up on the other side. Now, I call it a kick, but honestly, you're just kind of raising your leg out to your side. I'd really like you to think about using that side butt muscle <laughs> in order to raise your leg out to your side. Now here's the thing. I know you notice this has been a lot of upper body work. Yes, indeed. This is our upper body circuit. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go through this little circuit one more time. So when it beeps, of course, we're going to get our 10 seconds of rest and then we're going to start again with those letter X's. I do have lower body work for us today. Here's 10 seconds of rest. I wanted you to feel because I know you would rather be moving faster. Lots of us would be moving, rather be moving faster. Not all of us. I know, I know I got some strength lovers out here too. Here's our letter X's. But lots of us really feel like, oh, I've got to work harder. I've got to do more. I've got to be moving fast. I've got to feel sweaty. So what I wanted to do with today's moderate weights workout was kind of give you a little bit of feel of not working all the way to fatigue. If you work all the way to fatigue, you're working too hard, my friends. If you can't do these reps with excellent form, and really, you're not even aiming to feel sore tomorrow, but you do want to feel like you worked while we're working. Here's 10 seconds of rest, which is why we're doing all upper body for the first basically half of our workout. Coming up next, we're doing those curling high knees. Have your elbows locked right into your waist, core pulled in. We're curling up while bringing up one high knee at a time. So my friends, coming back to that conversation we were having about how during menopause, during the menopause transition and after you are menopausal, you are losing muscle mass and bone density faster than you were, and you already were, honestly. We, we gained all the bone density we were ever gonna have by the time we were 30. So the way to hang on to what you have, and for some of us, here's 10 seconds of rest. For some of us, if you already have lost some, you can even reverse some of that bone loss. We're gonna do the front raise, side raise next. You can even reverse some of that bone loss, and I do suggest that you talk to your doctor really specifically about your case, right? other than just taking my word for it. But strength training like this can help you build muscle. It can help you build bone density. This is like critically important work to keep up with. Even if you don't reverse some of the bone loss that you've got, you can absolutely slow it down and maintain what you have by doing regular strength training. This is why, here's 10 seconds of rest. In the course of like every time I release five more workout videos, we've got dumbbells in our hands, three of those five workouts. Coming up next, we're doing the split stance front push. I'm gonna have my left leg forward, palms facing each other, push to the front, core pulled in nice and tight. <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness. I was going, speaking of, I am taking care of myself, I was going to drink a bunch of water right before we started working out, and then I was like, okay, even though we're not jumping, not doing cardio, not doing any of that, I really didn't want to have to go to the bathroom in the middle of our workout. <laughs> so my throat's a teeny bit dry, and I promise you, <laughs> Here's 10 seconds of rest. As soon as we're done, I'm gonna go chug some water. <laughs> I am a chugger, not a sipper, which is why I don't have a bottle next to me. We're into other split stance right now, my friends, and we're gonna do those split stance fries, flies, rather. I, 
I, I get asked that sometimes actually, and you might have wondered also like, Paula, how come you don't have a water bottle next to you? Especially when we are doing cardio and we're getting sweaty and things. I don't like to sip my water. I, I've never been a sipper. I've never been the kind of person who takes like just one little, little bit. I open up my water bottle and I chug down 25 ounces at a time. <laughs> so you can imagine. <laughs> You can imagine an entire water bottle because I have like a, a you know like a, a reusable one. Okay, coming up next, we're doing the side kick press ups, and this is it for our upper body. So you can imagine if I were to have just had 25 ounces of water right before we worked out, that could get problematic even with a short workout like this one, my friends. I'm still conscious. Of not wanting to have to go to the bathroom in the middle of a workout. You guys, when it beeps again, of course, we're going to get 10 seconds of rest. And then we've already made it two times through this first half of our circuit, or first, first half of the workout, first circuit. I've got one more circuit for us. So yes, we will get to do some lower body work. We will get to do some ab work as well. Let me tell you, there are some squats today. If you don't like to do squats, don't do squats. We're not doing them right now. We're doing oblique crunches. You're gonna have the weights here on your shoulders. Your elbows are gonna be out wide. We're gonna bring up, ooh, that, uh, the same knee to that same side elbow as high as you can get it while standing up straight. We're trying really hard not to actually like crunch forward into it. You can bend to the side a little bit, but by really thinking, ooh, about having your abs pulled in and squeeze out to the side like that we're working not just the front of our abs but our obliques which is your girdle it's <laughs> the sides of your abdominal area when it beeps again we're gonna get 10 seconds of rest and here's what I'm talking about we're doing squat kicks if you would rather not squat don't squat my friends you never have to you can do like a little half of a squat instead of a full squat totally up to you what you substitute with but what we're gonna do is a squat and a kick Whew, yeah. a little bit of balance in between really thinking about good form, finding where your leg wants to land on that squat or rather after the kick as we come down into the squat is in my mind the hardest part. It's a little bit of brain body connection, thinking about where you are in space and time. It's called proprioception. It's one of my favorite words in the whole wide world. Whew. Yeah, I started with that one. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna finish it off. You saw me thinking about it. Coming up next, we're doing curtsy punches, which again, you don't have to actually come down into a curtsy lunge. You can just step back and out to the side a little bit and then kick your chair a little bit. And if I step over here, I'm gonna click kick the glass case. So I'm being really careful. Sorry, Blossom, didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> You notice I'm not coming down into a full curtsy lunge. This is plenty of work for me. I know that if I come all the way down and I do a lot of this work, that I actually will feel sore tomorrow. I don't want to, that's not my goal here. Here's 10 seconds of rest. My goal is to feel so amazing that tomorrow I could do this exact same workout. I'm not going to, I have something different for us. So have your feet nice and wide. We're doing triangles next. Gonna roll that dumbbell down the side of your leg while the other arm is up in the air. Really thinking, you can go ahead and push your hip out to the side. This is a full body exercise. Do not feel like you have to come down as low as I do. I've been doing this for years. This is actually an exercise that I feel really good about. It has a little bit of flexibility and a lot of strength. This is my strength. My hip area is actually very strong. All right, coming up next, speaking of hip area being very strong, we're doing deadlifts. Have your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart or wherever feels comfortable for you. Have your core pulled in nice and tight. As you push your hips back, and I really want you thinking about it that way, you will naturally bend forward. As you pull your hips forward, you will very naturally stand back up. We're not trying to lean forward. We're just trying to push our hips back. Thinking about your hips being the driver of this motion really changes how you do it. I noticed that when I first started doing deadlifts, I mean, years and years and years ago, when I first started doing deadlifts, I was just trying to get my body into the position. And I know, because I have pictures of it, here's 10 seconds of rest, that I was basically just bending over. When it beeps again, we're doing front kick twists. So your weights are just gonna be right, like right here at your shoulder. We're gonna kick to the front. And as we kick to the front, we're twisting into that leg. Oh my gosh. This twisting balance, 
it's always a practice for me, my friends. This balance work, speaking of I'm doing this, or I am taking care of myself, balance work is the best way to take care of yourself as we age. The thing that can hurt you the most is falling. And therefore, if we practice a little bit at a time, staying on our feet, here's 10 seconds of rest, and that was the whole circuit. So we're gonna start again with those oblique crunches. Hands right here at your shoulders, elbows out nice and wide. You're gonna bring that same knee up to the same side, elbow. Now you could actually go a little faster on this one if you wanted to. I mean, we could call it cardio. <laughs> But don't, because I really still want you thinking about having your core pulled in, making sure that you're taking the time to use this as balance work, not just as like abdominal work, but thinking about standing on one leg. And when you do that, how you bring that work all the way up into your abs, into your core. That, my friends, is work that will stick with you. Yeah, you're still gonna need to practice it regularly. Certainly, here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing those squat kicks. You still need to practice your balance every day, but the more you practice, the better it'll get and the more you'll be able to call on it. Here we go, excuse me, with those squat and kick. The more you'll be able to call on that skill come the day when there is something slippery underfoot or there is an uneven sidewalk or there is a rug. For example, <laughs> this one that's a little bit starting to roll up on the edges. I am just about to replace all the rugs in my house because they start to roll up on the edges. I don't know why, because we have cats. <laughs> Agatha in particular, who is not on camera right now, loves to eat the edges of my carpets. Okay, you guys, here's 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do curtsy punches next. I'm gonna scoot way up here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into a bit of a curtsy lunge and a bit of a front punch, wherever you can get to on both of those moves that feel comfortable and doable for you. My friends, you are taking care of yourself. That means that you're not comparing yourself to me. You're not pushing to do what I do. You're not thinking about, oh, if she can do it, I have to. You're not pushing beyond what is moderate for you. You're taking care of yourself. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Whew. And one of the ways we take care of ourselves is by doing triangles. I know this one's tough. Like I totally get that. And therefore I want you to think not just about maybe modifying it for yourself, but thinking about what part of it feels more difficult than the other. What I would suggest versus just doing a whole different exercise is actually doing the part of the exercise that you feel really confident with. Maybe that means that your arm isn't up overhead like this, that you're just coming down the side like that. It's the same exercise, my friends. You're still using, I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing on the other side so it's even. <laughs> you're still using all your hip muscles, but you're not trying to st strain your shoulder. When it beeps again, we're doing deadlifts, my favorite exercise in the whole wide world. Is that, it's one of them, certainly. I, I feel really confident. I don't know, I've never actually made a list of like, <sighs> You know, how, you know how when somebody asks you, like, what's your favorite song? And you're like, oh, it's this one. And then you're like, oh, no, wait, there's at least eight other songs that I love. Oh, well, how would I arrange all the songs that I like into a top 10? That's kind of how I feel about exercises. I like so many of them. I don't know that I have, well, I think my absolute favorite is still running. I enjoy running so, so much. But like for strength exercises, it's, it's probably deadlifts. I'm gonna make a top 10 list one of these days. Here's 10 seconds of rest and then you guys, we're doing front kick twists and that ha -ha, is our last exercise in the circuit. Whew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I ended it with something this difficult when those of you who have been working out with me know that we are gonna be done when I am done with this circuit, but we are not gonna be finished. I do have something allegedly harder than this. It's actually not harder, it's just different. I love to finish us off with a little bit of balance work. I know we've already done a fair bit of balance work, but I've got one more thing for us. We're doing a front kick, back kick, with a little bit of like punching going on too. So I'm gonna start with my left leg on the ground. As we kick forward, I'm just gonna punch forward a little bit. As we kick back, that same hand, gonna kick, gonna punch forward. So we're punching forward with one hand and then the other. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. This one, for whatever reason, and not really for whatever reason, I know exactly what the reason is. It's the twisting that gets me. As soon as I turn my head, my balance doesn't know what to do. If I can just be looking, for example, right now into the camera, much easier for me. I can totally, I can't do this all day long, but I can do 
single-sided, here's 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do that exact same thing on the other side, of course. Have to think about which one is doing which. Okay, going across your body. If that foot is kicking, this hand is punching. <laughs> It's work for your brain and your body. And by the way, we're gonna do this two times in a row, meaning that when we're done with this one, we're still gonna come back and do that first leg another time. And then we're gonna come back and do this one another time. Really getting that feel of like burnout, getting that feel of, okay, Paula, I did actually get sweaty. My heart rate did come up enough. Thank you very much. I am taking care of myself. Yes, we are. And we are really taking care of our balance. And let me tell you, even though we're halfway through with this, the thing that's gonna help you with your balance is, first of all, let me think about this, opposite and same, really is practicing wherever you are. Meaning that if you're hanging on to something rather than doing the punches, that is where you are and that is what you should practice. Rather than thinking, oh, I have so far to go, really just be thinking about what you are capable of doing right now. And honestly, that's just good advice for like, life. <laughs> rather than focusing on how far you still have to go, really being okay with where you are right now. Here's 10 seconds of rest, and I'm gonna do that last thing, last time. Last side, opposite, first. Okay, so opposite, front kick, same for back kick. <laughs> there is definitely a brain, body, mouth connection with me. I really, truly have to say out loud what I'm doing for my body and or brain to be able to process what I'm asking it to do. I have to think about it. It's why I have a mnemonic device for everything we do. It's, it's why my explanations, if you, have, if you have never worked out with me before, I have an explanation for everything. <laughs> and that's why. You guys, that was the last time. It's going to beep. Ha! <sighs> okay. I know it wasn't cardio. Oh, well, it wasn't the last time it was gonna beep. I know it wasn't cardio, but that was like, that was some good work. That was really taking care of yourself today, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's do some arm circles. Ah, oh, and some little tappers here. It feels so good to do a workout, for me personally, to do a workout that I know I could do that exact same thing again tomorrow. Like I know that I could pick up those same weights and do this exact same work because I'm not gonna be sore. I might feel it, I might notice. I mean, some of those exercises, especially the triangles and the curtsy, that, that kind of lateral side to side hip stuff, I almost always feel that a little bit, but I'm not gonna be knocked out. That, my friends, is what we are aiming for when we are taking care of ourselves. We don't wanna feel sore, we don't wanna feel like we're in pain, we don't wanna injure ourselves. We're doing just a beautiful, taking care of ourselves amount. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, nice deep breath. And close it up, give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Not too sweaty, just the right amount of sweaty, just moderately. <laughs> sweaty today, my friends. I promise you, there will be cardio to come. In fact, tomorrow will be cardio because tomorrow I've got, am I, I, I don't know. I think it's a power walk. I don't remember for sure. I've got something fun for us. <laughs> if this is not your first time through this five day series, you know what's coming tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for working out with me today. Make sure you click that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.